Next, we would like to update the items. When clicking on it, we would like to change the name of the item. So let's open the task item and make it clickable. So instead of you, we might use touchable opacity. And on press, we would like to redirect to some page where we can change the item's name. So we will use a navigation. From React Native Navigation. And on click, we will redirect to the, the another screen. So far, I'll leave it blank. Let's create another screen. We have create tasks, so we'll create update task screen. Now, we want to reuse the form from this screen and Instead of creating, we want to be able to update the screen. So let's extract the form into the different component and use it in the create task and update task screens. We'll call this component task form. And we need to extract all the component and put it here. Also with validation schema and props. Now, previously in the form, we were calling database directly, but right now we want to do some abstract action and insert this action from the outside. Yeah, so we can use it for update and create. So let's just remove everything from here. And let's say that this component will take in its props some on submit method. So we'll create props for the component I will have on submit method that will do something and we'll use it also here. And instead of the calling database will call this on submit and probably will also send values here. Like this. Next thing, we'll probably want to propagate a name here. So initial value is not always empty, but we can propagate existing value from the existing item. So let's add it here. and use it in the component. We can use it here instead of empty initial value. And last thing, we will probably want to change the button name from the outside so it's not always create. And we can propagate it the same into this component. and use it.
like this. Let's export the component. And now we can use it in create task. Let's delete the whole formic thing. But before that, import task form component. Put the onSubmit method there. So onSubmit method takes values and it will call basically the same. All this body. The name we will put empty because we are creating and we want to have default value empty. And button value we will leave create as previously. Like this. And now we can delete whole formic from the from this component. And validation schema and props. Last we can clear the unused imports and save our application. Nothing changed. If I click on that. It works. Now we can reuse this component for update task screen. So let's create the screen. And we can copy everything from the create task, but with slight changes. In fact, let's copy all the component to save the time and just rename it here. Now, for on submit, we don't want to add but we want to update as we did with the checkbox but before we can call update on this method we need to get the document and we can take it by task id but we don't have this id defined what we can do once we click on this item we can send id via navigation to the different screen to update task screen and get it from the root so let's use the root like this and we can get task id from root params then we can use this task id to search for the document and on this document we can call update and we will send the updated name like this and in the end we will probably want to navigate back to the home screen Also, as a good practice, we should catch all the errors and at least log them. This is our on submit method. So first we find the document and update it. Second, we re redirect. Now, we also want to send, send the name of the item to the form so it's pre-filled in the input box. If you don't send it, we will have empty item name and it will not be a good user experience. How to do this? When loading this component, we want to load this from the database. We already know how to do so. We use the use effect hook. So let's write the use effect hook. And it's like, as a first parameter, it takes callback 
and second parameter it takes attributes which when are changed then the use effect will be called again we want to call this use effect once the task id changes so let's write task id here and every time it changes the use effect hook will be called again and we will again load the data from database let's use database collection reference tasks we will find document by task id we will get it then for the document if the document exists we will get its data and name attribute and we will need to propagate it into the name attribute of the form we will use the state for this internal state Otherwise, we can throw some error like item does not exist. in here last thing is button value we don't want to have a create we want to have update so let's hook this screen into the application navigation we have create task and we want to have also update task And last thing that I'm, we want to do, when I click on the item, to navigate to this update task with parameter task ID, which is got from task. Also on the slower connections, this co database call might take a while and we want to block the UI until the data are loaded so let's add the loader for this we can have name for example undefined or string first will be undefined or string and by default it will be undefined and then here we can do that if if name then we'll show the form otherwise we will show activity indicator and size it will have large like this and now we can test I click on the second task and it has loaded and shows me the value and I can update it I get back and the task is updated I can do so with fifth for example and update it again and so on